So we are actually in, I guess, week 25 of our Bible trivia and Bible study, but we are really in the church year, on the church year calendar. We are in the season after Pentecost, which we normally call the ordinary season. It's our longest season, and we have, oh, about 25 Sundays in the season. It's actually, I think, technically somewhere between 23 and 28 Sundays in the season. But during this ordinary season, this week, we are leading up to the 14th Sunday after Pentecost. And so that is where we are in our church year. So our Old Testament reading is from Exodus, and we're going to talk today about the first Passover. Question number one. On the 10th day of the month, each household will cook a lamb for their household. What should they do if their household is too small to eat an entire lamb? On the 10th day of the month, every household cooks a lamb. But what should you do if your household is too small to eat a whole lamb? A, throw out the leftovers. B, keep the meat for the next day. C, share a lamb with a nearby neighbor. Or D, don't have lamb at all until your family grows. So what should you do in case your household is too small to eat an entire lamb? A, throw out the leftovers. B, keep the meat for the next day. C, share a lamb with a nearby neighbor. Or D, don't have lamb at all until your family grows. The correct answer is C, share a lamb with a nearby neighbor so that you can get together and that way you can eat the lamb. Question number two, what kind of lamb should be prepared for the slaughter? What kind of lamb should be prepared for the slaughter? A, a flawless year-old male. B, a fat lamb. C, the weakest lamb in the flock. Or D, a spotted lamb. What kind of lamb should be prepared for the slaughter? A, a flawless year-old male. B, a fat lamb. C, the weakest lamb in the flock. Or D, a spotted lamb. Correct answer is A, a a flawless year-old male should be chosen for the slaughter. Question number three, what time of day should the whole community slaughter their lamb. What time of day? So everybody's going to slaughter at the same time. What time of day should the whole community slaughter the lambs? A, at daybreak. B, noon. C, mid-afternoon. Or D, twilight. What time of day should the lambs be slaughtered? A, daybreak. B, noon. C, mid-afternoon. Or D, twilight. The correct answer is D, twilight. All the lambs should be slaughtered at twilight. Question number four. On what part of the home should some of the blood of the lamb be smeared? On what part of the home should some of the blood of the lamb be smeared? A, on the rooftop. B, on the two doorposts and the beam over the door. C, on the ground just outside the door, or D, near the window? On what part of the home should some of the blood of the lamb be smeared? A, on the roof. B, on the two doorposts and the beam over the door. C, on the ground just outside the door, or D, near the window? The correct answer is B. You should smear some of the blood of the lamb on the two doorposts and on the beam over the door. Question number five. The entire lamb should be eaten that night. The entire lamb eaten that night. How should the lamb be cooked? We're going to eat the entire lamb that night. So how's that lamb going to be cooked? A, it should be boiled. B, it should be eaten raw. C, it should be roasted over a fire, or D, it should be baked in an oven. So the entire lamb, it was slaughtered at twilight, it's going to be eaten at night. How should it be cooked? It should be boiled, 
It should be eaten raw. It should be roasted over a fire. Or it should be baked in an oven. The correct answer is C. It should be roasted over a fire. Our scripture reference today is Exodus 12, verses 1 through 14. Exodus 12, 1 through 14. The Passover is a day of remembering. Remembering God's love, remembering God's power, remembering. So I hope today that you will take some time and remember things that God has done for you.